I'm Love It's Twigger, and today I've got a video of the RX-70 MCS giving you some tips and tricks for Black Ops 2 multiplayer using it and uh, also this gameplay doubles up as reason why I think people don't like uh, Black Ops 2 uh, why people get angry at the newest Call of Duty and that sort of stuff because I figured I'd uh, throw that in there because I know a lot of people are like oh, don't like the game already or oh, there's no nuke town, I'm not going to play it or I don't know, some crazy stuff and it's like no, this game is still really brilliant in my opinion because I've started to do a lot worse now because uh, I switch up my weapon every day because I record a new video in the series every day like I have to change my weapon style completely and that sort of messed me up and I get a little bit you know, angry and a little bit uh, turned, turned down, I don't know, uh, but a little bit annoyed, but uh, I figured I'd explain that in the game as it comes up, but before that, let's start with the RX-70. Uh, so I'm using it with R4 camo here, if you're wondering why that camo looks so nice, definitely my favourite camo so far, uh, even gold sort of loses out to R4, but I'm going to show off my gold anyway, because I'm fancy. Uh, but yeah, the RX-70 is pump action, and it has the highest damage for the, well, it's the only pump action uh, shotgun that actually fires pellets. Uh, if you're wondering how pellets versus slugs works, uh, pellets are actually multiple little tiny, you know, bullets that fire. They do a tiny bit of damage each because you're firing eight of them. You're doing a lot of damage and you can get the one shot kills like that. Uh, but yeah, basically, um, the RH70 fires a lot of pellets and it has a fair amount of range on it. But uh, what you want to be doing if you're going to be using the RH70 is first of all put the long barrel on because uh, the long barrel gives you 15% more range. Uh, which also means they have 15% more range before they start dropping off. I mean, your one-hit kill range is going to be increased uh, tremendously, let's just say, and your overall you know, hit marker range is going to be increased a little bit. And you might be thinking hit marker range is a little bit pointless, but having that hit marker, it, it throws them off a little, and it uh, you know, gives you time to get your second shot in. Because uh, if you're wondering how most of the time you can get your second shot in with a shotgun, but like if you miss, it's a lot harder. That's that's why, because you throw their aim off, and they're like, "Whoa, I'm aim at the sky for a few seconds," or something along those lines. But yeah, long barrel is definitely my favorite attachment, and I'm also running laser sight. Um, laser sight, I because because the hip fire in this it isn't as good. If you're not aware, basically in previous games you put steady aim on, uh, the hip fire would be better than aim down sights. In this game, it doesn't seem as true. So uh, you're definitely going to want to be aiming down sights uh, at all times when using this gun uh, because the hit fire is just not too good. So the laser sight really is optional, but I, I'm just so used to hit firing now that I've just put that on. Uh, if you want if you want an alternative to that, extended mags or fast mags, whatever you prefer. Uh, as far as perks go, I have quite a lot of them in this class. Uh, lightweight and hardline. Hardline's a staple, I'm just so used to it now I don't want to get rid of it. That's just how new cards go for me. Uh, lightweight, you sort of need for shotguns. Uh, it's just it's just nice to have that little bit of, like, if I run jump, it might take me within a uh, hit marker range, even though it's like a 6% bonus. It's nice to get that extra little kill. Like, it's it's the most useful on shotguns, in my opinion. Um, and then, then dexterity for faster aiming after sprinting, because you need to... You know, aim down sights, which means you need to be fast down to aim down sights. It's just, uh, it's just a vicious loop. But yeah, you want to be doing that. Uh, and then second perk, cold blooded, because people might be like, oh, that guy running out with a shotgun. He's, he's probably not real. But yeah, here you see me. I'm um, like the peak of my kill streak, and I'm starting to run into their spawn a little bit too much. And uh, eventually, it just uh, doesn't end well for me. And uh, now I've given the majority of tips as far as grenades and stuff go, although actually just to quickly summarise that. Also secondary small because you can shoot down pipe, spy planes, uh, it's a free ghost basically. Love it, my favourite secondary so far. Um, and then shock charge because throwing shock charges at people is funny and they're powerless stuff. Uh, see, I said stuff, um, but yeah, next next on the agenda, uh, why people get angry at Black Ops 2, because that's pretty much all the tips I can give you, uh, besides get close to people, shoot them, awesome fun time, maybe I'll do another video with my gold max prestige shotgun, because I've almost got it max prestige now, uh, second, so I'll have both titles, it'll be awesome, but yeah, I'll probably give you a few more sh just general shotgun tips, that's all I can give you on the RX-70, the which, by the way, is the Remington 870 Modern Combat Shotgun. Uh, but yeah, why people get angry at Call of Duty? As you can see here, uh, I was just on the peak of my kill streak. I was on the high of Call of Duty. I was like, yeah, this is awesome. Yeah, I'm awesome. And yeah, I said that twice. But um, it was like I was I was on the peak of my kill streak. Got all my kill streaks. So I was like, yeah, this is why Call of Duty is played. Started rushing a bit too much because I got the VSAT and they were spawning in front of me still. And I was like, I think I can do this. Just run as their shot and spawn shotgun them over there again. But I kept taking risks, which just, uh, for the first few like risks I took, it was like, they're not, nothing's happening. But then eventually I got killed and then I'm like, god damn it. I got a bit angry. And then I lost focus and losing focus makes you do a little bit worse. And then I lost focus, just decided, let's run through the middle. And then I ran through the middle, and that was just bad decision making. And I just, the decision got worse every death because I got a little bit more upset. So I was like, damn it. Oh, I wanted a second V cell or something because it's. It's just the way Call of Duty goes. So the way, the way I think people get rat mad is because they're like so used to doing well 
and then when they stop doing well, they're just like, uh And then they start doing less well because they're getting angry, and it's just a, it's a vicious cycle. But um, summarize, don't want to get angry at COD. Just, uh, just chill. Uh, play kill confirmed because that's what I'm enjoying recently. And uh, just, just chill. Um, I said that twice, but just chill. That's, that's the simplest advice I can give you to not get angry at Call of Duty because. Don't, just don't assume you're better than anyone else in the lobby. Just have a fun time. Just chill and, uh, yeah, just chill. Chill, 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 chill. Now I've said chill about ten times. Uh, I hope that helps you in some way uh, with either the R870 uh, Mon Combat Shotgun or the uh, the tips and stuff. Uh, I'm going to leave for now, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Like it if you did, because that's good. Uh, doing, I'll be doing another RX-70 video soon, and I'm going to be working on the S12 Gold now, so kill me now. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.